Oh, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft video and in today's video it's going to be a mod review which I don't really do on my channel that often but I'm going to doing it for a special reason today. We're going to be reviewing the Joshua's Christmas mod. Whoops, dropped that down, that's alright. <laughs> As you can see it adds just uh, all kinds of Christmas items into the Minecraft world and we're going to be looking over those in this video and showing you how to craft them and just yeah reviewing the mod <laughs> so to start you can see we can craft this gigantic beautiful christmas tree right there we'll walk down the spruce pathway into our log cabin in the woods here see a wreath on the door walk in and uh, a little christmas tree in the corner with a star on top light strung all around the rafters another wreath here and on over the fireplace couple stockings and then of course lights on a tree um, if we go upstairs I don't think there's anything special up here just more lights but yeah as you can see it's used to make pretty Christmas decorations so <laughs> if we walk outside oh icicles on the roof too and if we go down here I'm gonna show you how to craft all those items and a few more because there's some items that weren't shown off there so to start out how to make Christmas lights. So, this is going to be the crafting recipe for the bulbs, which are required to make the actual strands of lights. Um, these glass panes are replaceable with a few different colors, like like red, green, uh, you know, those stuff. <laughs> White or something like that. And then uh, you get four bulbs. You take your four bulbs and you do this. And then if you do, like... Multicolors on the top here, you get uh, multicolored lights, but it'll give you four strands of Christmas lights. So, yeah, it takes quite a few to actually make a full house of it, but it's not too bad. Moving on, if you would like to craft the tree that was in the corner, uh, it's just like this. A stick and two, two leaves on top, and you get a Christmas tree, and I'll show you how to replace it here. Um, a star that goes on the tree is... Uh, five gold and a little star pattern there and a four point star click the tree and it'll put it on top and if you want to use the bulbs here you just oh not the bulbs what am i what am i saying if you want to put lights on it you just grab them and yoink ta-da you got yourself a little tree <laughs> moving on though if uh there's presents in the game and uh, colored Christmas chests, or just, you know, chests that look like this. Present chests is what they're called. Uh, you just take a regular chest, wrap it in paper, and the color that you want your paper. And uh, again, these are interchangeable with green dye, I think. And that's what you get. If you want to do a present, you do that exact thing with no chest. And you get this. And these have, like, a five-slot storage, and the chests just have a normal, normal storage area. If you would like to make a wreath, it's uh, four spruce leaves and four red wool. I don't think there's these are interchangeable with colors though, so it's just just that. And if you want to place it, you just right click. Stocking is just uh, five red wool, two white wool, and you get this. This can also be green, and these are hung on walls and have five slots of storage for presents, of course. Icicles is five ice, and you get five icicles, <clears throat> so it's just one ice for an icicle. It's pretty pretty standard. <laughs> Moving on over here, I think this is the order we go. A lug, or a yule log, <clears throat> burns forever. It's like netherrack, but it's a log. And it's just netherrack, four netherrack around a log. <clears throat> and it's kind of like netherrack on a log. <laughs> it's essentially what it looks like. Uh, a Yule Log is a popular Christmas burning log. It's got a good smell or whatever, and it burns really long. So you often hear a Yule Log in a fireplace is like a Christmas thing in movies or whatever. So that's that. A mistletoe, you find these in the wild. And if you put a red wool on top, you get a decorative mistletoe, which I think you can hang from, like, here. Yeah. So that's, that's that. I don't think it does anything, but... <laughs> Uh, mugs is just three white terracotta, and you get four of them. I don't know why you don't get three, but <laughs> you get four. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, to make eggnog is a bucket of milk, uh, sugar, an egg, and a cup, and you get one eggnog, which is actually kind of expensive because that's three iron. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure the bucket is consumed in the crafting there. If it's not, you can correct me, but I'm pretty sure it is. Hot chocolate, very similar, is uh, like that, but instead of an egg, you're going to use cocoa beans, and you get one hot chocolate. Um, let's see. Ah, yes, sugar. So there's certain types of sugar in this game for the crafting of foods and whatnot, and the way you use them is you uh, take three sugar, and you do like a backwards L, and in the corner of that L, you use the dye you want for the certain type of sugar, and how many sugars are there? Oh, I think there's three, right? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no, just two. You can use red or blue, and that's what you get. So, yeah, it'll give you three. Uh, sugar cookies is you take a piece of this colored sugar, you put it in the middle, and you get sugar cookies. I think you get eight. I don't know why there's only seven in there. Um, yeah, see, there's two types of sugar cookies, the sugar cookie star or the sugar cookie bell, and that's how you craft those. Um, there's more food items later on, but right now we're going to show off the Santa hat. Um, the Santa hat is crafted with three wool on the bottom, three red wool in the middle, and one white wool on top. And this is wearable, as you can see. <laughs> um, my skin already has a <laughs> Santa hat with it, but if I turn it off, uh, skin customization, hat off, aha. Uh -huh. I'll put it on. There you go. You can wear a Santa hat. I don't think it does any armor points or anything, but that's what that is. We'll put that back on. <laughs> so that's uh, that's your Santa hat for you. And I checked, and you can't put it on pets or anything, unfortunately. But wouldn't it have been cool? It like makes a consumable sound, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> um. Oh, we need to start on the end. Gingerbread. You find ginger root in the wild. And combine it with a sugar beside it and two wheat on the bottom, you get gingerbread. It gives you two. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if you take that gingerbread and put it in four corners with two of the red sugar, you get four gingerbread men. And uh, all those are consumable items along with the sugar cookies. And they give you... I don't, I don't know how much they give you. They give you a certain amount. I don't think it's very good, but it's it's all about the festivity, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. If you find this peppermint leaf, also in the wild, which I think you can grow these two, I'm not sure. Put a sugar next to it and a red sugar on the bottom, you get eight peppermint candies. If you go over one and you just make this a big old square, using nine of them, you get a bunch of peppermint logs. Not that much, you get one. <laughs> you get one per each one. This is my second time recording the video, so a few things are messed up, but as you can see, this is pretty cool. Um, can make yourself a little candy cane there looks pretty decent I think so yeah and if you want to deconstruct these back into peppermint candies you just put in your crafting table and you get nine of them back so that's pretty good and finally a candy cane is just made with three peppermint candies and you get two of them so yeah it's it's pretty good um, but that's the mod, uh, <laughs> any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm not going to show how to install it, I'm pretty sure it's just Forge and you drag it into your mod folder. It is for 1.12, so it's not updated or anything, at least the recording of this video. He might decide he wants to update it for Christmas, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the mod. Um, the reason I'm reviewing it is I'm going to be bringing it back into my Christmas series all the way up till Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, something like that. And I wanted to review it here, it'll be in this world, I'm going <laughs> to delete all of these crafting things, and it's pretty much just this exact world, and I'll obviously remove these cheaty items, you can actually see my inventory from where I've done it before, so yeah, if you're interested in this mod and want to watch a series on it, I'm going to plug that right here, <laughs> so if you want to watch the series on it, it'll be on my channel probably tomorrow, after this video comes out, so it's likely already up, if you want to check it out, that's cool. But yeah, that's the Joshua's Christmas mod. And of course, I didn't make the mod. He did. Joshua, I'm assuming, is his name. If it's not, that's interesting. But yeah, Joshua made this. It's his Christmas mod. The link will be in the description for you to check it out. And I'll also link Forge because it's required to install it. But yeah, that's the mod. It's a pretty awesome mod. So props to him for making this. That's going to do it for this video. hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you all in the Christmas whoops <laughs> in the Christmas series bye oh that's what you do to the bye